Why is the traffic so dumb in city skylines? Well, welcome to today's beginner's guide. It's Traffic AI. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Bomb Bomb Bees Beginner's Guide to Traffic AI. Of course, the big question with city skylines is why is the traffic so goddamn stupid? Well, there is a simple answer to this, and it's because Colossal Order have decided that that is how the traffic should be. And you're now looking at the screen in disbelief, saying, well, why am I justifying this? Well, Colossal Order are not stupid. Let me, let me just check a couple of questions with you before we go any further into the show. Your, um, your computer or uh, games console you're looking at at the moment. Um, let me just, uh, let me, you don't have to put this into the comments, just, just answer honestly. Uh, what sort of processor have you got there? Mm-hmm. Nice. Lovely. And uh, how much RAM? Very good. Lovely. Um, no, it's not enough. <laughs> it's just not enough. See, the thing is, cost all to know that unless you actually work for NASA and have access to all of their lovely tech, you just haven't got the processor power to handle dynamic AI. What do I mean by dynamic AI? Well, I'll tell you what, let, let's do something very simple. Uh, we've got a very simple road layout down below, as I'm sure you can see this. Um, it's a little, uh, little eye with a, a swooshy dirt road running across the top of it. Now, here's where we live, this little house here. I know, it's all we could afford, all right? No, don't judge. And uh, what we want to do is we want to drive from this house and we're going to go to there's a shop up the other end of town and uh, the shop is this little this little guy here, okay? That's where we're going to be driving to that location there. And now we're going to ask you to be sat-nav. I know it's a big job, but somebody's got to do it. Right, now I'm going to ask you, how are we going to drive from here? Now, um, we are using American roads here. We are driving on the right. Even though I'm in the UK, I, I appreciate that most of the world knows that the UK is, is right, but uh, is driving on the wrong side anyway. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are absolutely spot on. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drive from here. And what we're going to do is I want you to pick not just which routes we take, but which lane we take. So first of all, uh, we want to get down to this junction first of all, clearly, clearly. Um, do we go, um, all these speed limits on these on these dirt roads and on the tarmac roads here are 30. So to get from here to that crossroads, well, if you said you want to go down the dirt road and bomb it up, because dirt road and a lot more fun to drive on, I will appreciate that, but the speed limit is 30 and uh, we're not going to be breaking any laws here today. So, unless you just want to uh, ruin your suspension anyway, I suggest we're probably the sensible route is to stick to the tarmac today. So, what we'll do is we'll come out of the house and we're going up to that first junction. Now, if we're going to turn right, we have no option but to be in the right-hand lane. So, we come out of the house into the right-hand lane and we come up in the right-hand lane to this intersection. Yep. And then we'll turn right. Now, the next thing we need to look at is the next intersection, that crossroads. Let's go and have a look at it first of all, before we take, decide what route we're going to take. Well, to go straight on, which is probably the way we want to go, we're going to turn left. Right won't take us home, obviously. Uh, well, it will take us home, but not to the shop. If we take a left, we go onto that dirt road, and no, nah, it's a bit silly, really. We're going straight on. Now, either lane will work for straight on. Now, we are starting in the right hand lane. And the right hand lane works. So why do we need to change? So we'll stick in the right hand lane. Great, lovely, this is good news. And then up here, and then if we go straight across the intersection now, because we're now going that way. Now let's have a look at the next intersection. Next intersection, we want to turn right, and the uh, right hand lane is to turn right. So that's great. We don't need to change lanes here either. We're going to stick to the right hand lane, go all the way to the top, uh, and we turn right here and then let's have a look at our location well that's on the right hand side of the road we are already in the right hand lane so we'll just stick in the right hand lane all the way and there we are at the shop now that would seem obvious 
it's just too obvious but i thought i'd start with the really obvious stuff because what follows next is going to throw a little um snake into the bag okay prepare for this right oh dear they've built a skyscraper well that's no problem it's not in our way is it excellent well we're going to go and do the same route again now okay um but this time this time of course we're not going to be um looking we know the route now we know the quickest route which is going to be sticking in the right hand lane all the way yeah okay so out of the house and we're up here and we're taking the right don't forget we are sticking to our planned route so i'm going to take a right and we're going to follow the road along and past the sky rise excellent stuff i didn't mean to go over there but we'll take that anyway and up towards the first inter oh hang on um there's traffic why have we got traffic oh all these people in the sky rise want to go to the park it's a very nice park too very vanilla but it's still very nice now the problem is we've already decided on our route so we just got to sit here and wait for the traffic to move which of course eventually it will but very slowly well not these these are just props and um yes <laughs> okay right well eventually like i say it'll all move but we are now dragging along wait a second the left lane is clear now if this was you or i and not a bot we would change lanes we would drive straight up to the intersection and go past the intersection and straight on before switching back to the right hand lane and down to this intersection and turn right that is the solution correct so why doesn't the car change lanes well let's have a look at how many decisions we had to make originally we came out of the house and we had to decide left lane or right lane one decision up to the intersection we turned right left lane or right lane that was one decision the two up here again over this intersection once we decided to go straight on that's three decisions and then left lane or right lane is four decisions and then up here left or right well obviously five decisions and right lane was we had to make six maybe seven decisions as well to get how to get to this shop so seven decisions along the route and that's before worrying about the traffic so the traffic was then eight decisions to switch lanes eight decisions how many cars we've got on the road or oh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so if each of those cars had to make eight decisions eight twelves are 743 uh, multiplied by the square root of infinity is well i think you get the drift your processor has to work out well originally eight decisions from there once it's decided on those eight decisions without having to make continuous new decisions for every single car with ai with ai sorry in your map well that would just kill your processor it would it would just burn it up in in five minutes not even that maybe so that is why the ai is kind of dumb because what happens is when the traffic sets out like the traffic from this sky rise why is all that traffic down the right hand lane it comes out the sky rise it stays in the right hand lane it's coming down the right hand lane it gets the intersection it wants to go straight on towards the park it goes over it decides i'm already in the right lane why does the traffic have to change lanes it doesn't now there are some techniques you can use to basically bypass problems like that i would say we've got this dirt road what if we were to upgrade this dirt road would that be a good idea let's switch it to a three lane highway seems like a good plan to me uh, it's all going the right way lovely and then this one that's all going the right way too right so instead of going straight up it, that which would be the obvious route once again the most direct route when you take into consideration the speed limits speed limits here are 30 or 100 so you can go three times as fast up the highway 
which seems to have priority as well so the traffic isn't going to be stopping so I would suggest that the quickest route now is going to be to take the highway now if we were to do that as the AI and plan that route come out of the house here cross onto here middle lane probably because that's going to give us the direct lane that we want now we're going to go onto the highway now we've got three lanes to choose between where we need to get to um, that'll be straight up we've got a decision to make here but I still think we'll be going on the highway all the way to the end when we get to the highway two lanes will get us down to that shop or to this intersection here so we've got a number we've got a few options for the AI to choose between so once we get into here any one of those three lanes will work for us probably though one of the two outer lanes the one of the two on the right because one of these two lanes here will be the two lanes with the arrows on them down here to get us into these two lanes and then when we get to the ends here either of these two lanes will work but once we get across we'll have to get across to the right hand lane so that would be a far more efficient route for us to get to our shop from this house and the same would be if we needed to get to the school over on this side now we've got a highway rather than dirt tracks that would make an awful lot more sense so let's find you a solution for all of these lining up traffic stupidity problems well one of them we've already discussed is that traffic will get into a lane and stay in its lane well, until it gets to its destination so what we need to do is we need to give it a reason to get into a lane now we've got lanes one two three four or one on the left four on the right we're going to be coming up to an intersection in a minute where traffic will be feeding off on the obviously on the right hand side so let's do that shall we so we'll head up this way and along the freeway like this until we reach come on where's this intersection here it is and we've got this uh this ramp going off on the right so any traffic in this section coming up to here that wants to go right has to get into the right hand lane all other, all other traffic will need to go straight on that's good news so traffic for the right goes off on the right now what we've done we reduce this reduce this down to three lanes with the three lanes going straight on all right bye bye traffic great now we've got the uh, the on the ramp here which will merge in here and brings us back up to four lanes now imagine we're now going on for another half a mile and then we've got an intersection but this time we're going to put the the ramp off on the left hand side so now any traffic way back here that wants to go left at that a uh, bridge intersection will want to get into the left hand lane leaning any traffic going straight on now is only in the two center lanes now this could be a little bit tricky for building custom intersections but it does bring traffic out on both sides otherwise all highway traffic leaving the highway at any given point will have to get off on the same side hence it'll all start chewing up on the right hand lanes of course there are other ways around this like setting up traffic manager president edition but this isn't a, a tutorial about that mod this is just about the beginner's guide to the artificial intelligence and giving the artificial intelligence well 50 percent options for going left or right does kind of split the traffic down rather than have it all piled up on one side of the road and that is where a lot of people's problems will start from traffic manager present edition what's that why haven't i talked about it in more detail well like i say it's just the beginner's guide and that's for another day and no doubt i will finally get around to doing a, a tutorial on that, that fantastic mod as well believe me it's worth subscribing to so there we go that's a solution to one of the problems of traffic piling up lining up on one side of the road just have exits on both sides of the roads well thanks for watching commenting liking and subscribing don't forget to join me for what's about monday to saturday i've now got let's plays um can't guarantee they're going to go out regularly but i'm going to do my best and uh yes yeah, so of course tutorials on a sunday when i can have a great week thanks for watching and i'll see you very very soon